Welcome back. In this video, we will learn about the touched, dirty, and valid states in React Hook form. They are not necessarily customization options, but they are fundamental to understanding how React Hook form works and will come into picture when learning other concepts in the series. First, let's start with field level states. When you observe a form field in the DevTools, you will see the touched and dirty states. Touched is a Boolean value that indicates whether the user has interacted with the field or not. When you focus on a field and then click outside, the touched state will be set to true. Pretty straightforward to understand. Dirty, on the other hand, indicates whether the user has modified the input or not. When you type into the input field, you can see the dirty state being set to true. What you should also know is that the comparison is made with the default value. So if you were to revert the username back to just Batman, the dirty state is reset to false. Now these two states, touched and dirty, are also available at the form level. You can access them through the form state object by destructuring the touched fields and dirty fields properties. If you log them to the console, refresh, you will see that they are initially empty when the page loads. However, when you focus on the username field, and then click outside, the touched fields object is updated with username. Similarly, when you update the value of the username field, the dirty fields object is updated. When you reset the value back to Batman, the dirty fields object no longer contains the username field. Although the form state object provides touched fields and dirty fields, React Hook form provides is dirty, which is a derived form state that is easier to work with. You can destructure it from the form state object again and log it to the console. Refresh, and you can see is dirty is set to false. Update Batman to Batman test. Is dirty is set to true, revert back to Batman, and is dirty is set to false. Of course, we have only seen by modifying the username field, but is dirty represents the state of the form itself and not an individual field. The property comes in handy when you have to enable the form submit button only after the user has filled in data. In summary, Understanding the touched, dirty, and valid states in React Hook form is essential when building forms with this library. These states allow you to track user interactions and validate user inputs when appropriate. By using these states effectively, you can create a more user friendly and robust form. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.